Hello and welcome to the Daily Brown Bag. Today we're going to be talking about Giving Tuesday, just after Cyber Monday here. I'm Chad Hill and I'm joined by Adam Stetzer. Yeah, good morning, Chad, and welcome to our Brown Bag. Well, you had Black Friday, then you had Small Business Saturday, and then we just had Cyber Monday yesterday. So today we're talking about Giving Tuesday, which is a term maybe a lot of people are not familiar with. And in our culture that's really you know inundated with shopping, particularly during the holidays, it's kind of nice to be turning to this topic today, Chad, and talking about Giving Tuesday, which is really all about the spirit of giving. This day was created to help people think about someone other uh, than themselves and to kick off the holiday season with a few other themes other than shopping and spending money, particularly focusing on donating time, donating money and attention to causes that you might believe in and shopping, no, shopping is not a cause. Uh, so let's get that clear from the start. But so this is the second year they've done Giving Tuesday and apparently over 7,000 nonprofits are partnered up with the program this year. So this is something pretty exciting to see. And here are a few stats just about uh, the holiday season and charities and raising money. 46% of the year's total donations are received in the last quarter of the year. So the stats we see for nonprofits and raising money, not all that different than what we see on the shopping side and the consumer side. 30% uh, of those are actually received in the last week of December. So I guess the, the Black Friday of the nonprofit fundraising is really the last week in December, uh, which makes some sense. Everybody's uh, sort of winding down their holidays. The shopping is done, and they turn their attention probably to the end of the tax year, as well as the uh, spirit of philanthropy, which has hopefully you know inundated them uh, through the various uh, holiday observances. Um, but it is important to note that even though this uh, term hopefully is picking up steam with 7,000 nonprofits, that a lot of nonprofits are still hurting. Uh, totals for 2013 are expected to actually decrease by about 1% over totals from previous years. And it's also worth noting, Chad, that a lot of charities, uh, and this is according to the Chronicle of Philanthropy, are still really catching up from the recession and are not back to pre-recession levels of giving. So yeah, this is an interesting concept, and I, I'd like your thoughts, Chad, on whether you think Giving Tuesday is really going to catch on and maybe turn a little bit of that greed around. Yeah, it was interesting also that in your in the, some of those analysis that I know some people actually use Giving Tuesday also as a way to to buy a gift on someone's behalf. But um, one of the things we saw when we were looking at this topic was that social really is driving uh, Giving Tuesday and driving a lot of philanthropy these days. In fact, some of the stats we have here are that 98% of nonprofits um, are on Facebook, 74% are on Twitter, 66% are on YouTube. Uh, and I think uh, we have some stats here which, uh, which show that the, the amount of giving has gone up since 2010. It was on average $38. Now it's up to um, uh, $60. Now it's hard to know whether that's some of the boost maybe they're getting from social or whether that's just, as you said, Adam, the economy recovering and, and some of those numbers getting back to, way, to where they were before 2008. Uh, but, but one other note on the social is that the, the social media really has allowed some smaller charities who used to not really be able to compete with the national guys who had the money to really put together these national fundraising campaigns. The local, the local players have been able to use social media because it's so much more efficient and easy to reach their local market. They've been able to uh, fundraise more from, from social media. Um, one other note that we found here is that that a uh, number of the top donors of 2012, three of them, uh, three of the couples in this case, uh, came in under 40. One was uh, Mark Zuckerberg was on the list, uh, number two, and actually Sergey Brin and his wife were number five. So some really interesting stats. Again, I think a lot of this is, is interesting as it's driven around this giving season and then social media is really playing a big part. Yeah, interesting stuff. So for one, it's nice to be covering this topic because there's so much emphasis on consumerism and spending money and certainly that's where a lot of our internet marketers are as they need their small businesses to, to round the corner and turn profitable for the year. And that's understandable, but it's nice to step out of that and also remember some of the more important themes of the holiday season, which is helping and sharing and giving to those who maybe are less fortunate. And then as you tie that into social, that's very interesting. So social media as a strategy for nonprofits, uh, really emphasizing there that your opportunity to reach community and talk about great things you're doing, it's really a, an unparalleled opportunity, as you said, Chad, for them to get at an audience that before maybe they were closed out by some of the bigger foundations and traditional advertising mediums. So just a fun topic to be covering today. That's our brown bag for this Tuesday. We hope you enjoyed our coverage. We hope you'll subscribe and come back and see us tomorrow.